mushroom clouds snake skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. Before we get deep into the lecture, I want to show you two things here. These two bulbs are filled with a brown gas, uh, both at the same temperature. You think I, yeah, I think you can see that they're about the same color, which is an indication of how much material is in there. Um, I'm going to put one of them on ice right now, and we'll come back to it a little bit later in the lecture. So the left one's going to get cold, the right one's going to stay at room temperature. But you needed to see that they were at the same temperature before we started. So adding heat or raising the temperature should move this equilibrium back from uh, N2O4 back to NO2. Well, as it happens, these two gases have different colors. And N2O4 is a brown gas, and NO2 is a uh, sorry, NO2 is a brown gas, and N2O4 is a colorless gas. So we can see this equilibrium shift pretty easily, and that's in fact what I had in this leaky bowl. <coughs> Hope there's not too much electronics under here. <laughs> um, and you'll recall that these were the same color when I put them in here. I put in the same quantity of, of N2, NO2, N2O4 gas. It's supplied as NO2, but there's, there's always some N2O4 in it. And when I cool down one of them, I think you can see that the color has changed quite a bit. Hopefully you can see, can you see the left-hand one is lighter in color? Okay. So it's lighter in color, and we know that the N2O4 is the colorless gas, so the equilibrium must have shifted from NO2 in towards N2O4. There's the same amount of mass in there that there was before, it's just that many of the N2O4 molecules have been formed from many more, twice as many NO2. So the NO2 is disappearing. The N2O4 is, is appearing, if you will, but the N2O4 is colorless, so the, the color disappears. And if I leave this to warm up for uh, the rest of the lecture, you'll see that those colors will come back. Uh, it's quite a bit, it's, it's a lot easier to see here. This, this one's the lighter color, and this one's the darker color. I don't know if you can, maybe that's even better. Eh? Lots of ways of looking at things, but uh, the camera gives you funny colors here. But it's certainly a lighter color because we've shifted the equilibrium towards the N2O4. And that's happened because the N2O4 is on the exothermic side of the reaction. So in this case, we cooled it down, and it had to shift in such a direction as to warm it up again. And in other words, it has to move in the exothermic direction, which is towards N2O4. So it's easy to show that a, and in fact, we do this experiment in second. I've got to get these gas bulbs back right away because some second year uh, chemistry students are going to do this experiment this afternoon. And what they do is open the open this thing a little bit and you get a little bit of a puff of smoke so that both of these are at the same pressure and then weigh them and you can by, by, uh, by weight you can tell how much is NO2 and how much is N2O4 and thereby the position of the equilibrium and they do that at a few different temperatures and you can really uh, pin down the thermodynamics of this system. So that's temperature. All you got to remember really to uh, figure out those problems is that if you increase the temperature it will shift in the endothermic direction. Or you can think of it the other way. If you decrease the temperature, it'll shift in the exothermic direction, like I did here. 